Okay, we are going to solve problem 3.53 from study Kubuk. And the question is find the mass currents. The mass currents is here, I1, I2, I3, I4, and I5. And we will start from the easiest loops. Here we see here, it is I4. And I4 is going to the opposite of this current source. But this current source is the only current that here that pass through here. So the value of I4 is the negative of the current source. So we will have I4 will equal to minus 3 milliampere. And that's for I4. We need to find out the other. So let's do at loop 1. Okay, here we have voltage source and it's flowing from negative to positive so the sign will be negative and the value is 12. And we move on to this resistance 1. We multiply it by the focus of our loop I1. We will have I1 here, but here we have I3 flowing to the opposite direction, so I subtract I3 from it, and we move on to that 3 kilo ohm resistance, Pake apa sih? Buat sih? and we will have 3 multiplied by I1, but here I2 is ah, flowing to the opposite direction, I2. And that will equal to zero. Now we do simple algebraic manipulation here. We move this minus 12 to the right hand side. So we will have 12. And I1 plus 3I1 is 4I1. And for I2, I will have minus 3I2. And for I3, I will only have minus I3. Okay, this 12. Let's move this so we have room. And let's have this as equation number 1. And we move on to loop number 2 here. We only have two components. And we start from this 3 kilo ohm resistor. And the focus is I2. And I1 is flowing to the opposite direction. So I subtract it. And one more component. This 4 kilo ohm resistor. And the focus is I2. But here I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I4. But the value of I4 is minus 3. So I will have minus 3. And that will equal to 0. Now let's do algebraic manipulation again so I will have 3i2 minus 3i1 plus this one 4 times i2 for i2 this becomes plus 3 multiplied by 4 so I will have plus 12 and that will equal to 0 and here we have minus 3i1 plus 3 plus 4 it's 7 I2 and that will equal to minus 12 so let's save this as equation number 2 and we move on to the third loop loop number 3 what can we get from here let's see Let's start from this 6 kilo ohm resistor. The focus is I3, but I5 is flowing to the opposite direction. So minus I5. And this 8 kilo ohm. Again, I multiplied by I3, but here I4 is flowing to the opposite direction. And the value of I4 is minus 3. So minus minus 3 will be plus 3. And the last one.
last one is this one kilo ohm resistance so i will have one multiplied by i3 minus i1 and here we'll, we will have this equal to zero now we do oh, algebra kalau, again kalau sin dari indonesia itu bisa tinggal teks tertulis doang maksudnya terus 6 plus 8 is 14 14 plus 1 is 15 Terus misalnya sekarang kita bisa misalnya 15 I3 udah bikin udah jadi dapat sin koreanya tapi and then tiba-tiba di suatu we will have 6 times minus I5 so I will have oh gitu minus 6 I5 and here we have plus 8 times 3 it's plus 24 and here we have this minus i1 and that will equal to zero now we do some manipulation so i will have i1 moving to the left hand side i1 and then I3 to the left hand side so I will have minus 15 I3 and then what can we do here uh, I'm, I'm getting lost okay this 6 I5 plus 6 I5 and that will equal to 24 let's have this as equation number three and we need one more loops so let's see at loop five here but the whiteboard is four let me get a new one so here is my new whiteboard so we take a look at loop five so I will have loop 5 and we start from this 2 kilo ohm resistor and the only current that pass through it is I5 so I will have 2 times I5 now we move on to this 8 kilo ohm resistor so I will have 8 multiplied by I5 but here I4 is flowing to the opposite direction so I subtract I4 from it and we remember that I4 is minus 3 so I will have minus minus 3 plus 3 and we move on to this 6 ohm resistor and we multiply it by I5 but here I3 is flowing to the opposite direction so minus I3 and that will equal to 0 and now we do some algebraic manipulation for i5 i have 2 plus 8 plus 6 it's 16 so we will have 16 i5 and here 8 times 3 is 24 and here we have 6 times minus i3 i will my have minus 6 i3 and that will equal to zero and i will move this to the right hand side so i will have 24 is equal to 6 i3 minus 16 i5 or we can move this 24 to the right hand side so like this and let's have this as equation number four now we have four equations here we have four I mean we have four equations with four variables yeah four equations with four variables so we can solve that and let's write this as matrix form so from those equations we can have this matrix form and let's plug this into MATLAB and let's see the result okay so plugging this to MATLAB 
will get this result so we have i1 i2 i3 and i5 and remember that we have i4 here is minus 3 so we will have i4 is minus 3 milliampere and so we get all the mass currents in the circuit and this is the final answer thank you for watching